meteorologist Mark Mulner as your host for the weather show, Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the tropics. Tropical Storm Erica continues towards the west, northwest towards the northern Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, eventually skimming the northern Dominican Republic, Haiti, and eventually Cuba. I believe this system will stay on the southern portion of the envelope, the left, or left portion here, meaning the system will encounter some vertical wind shear, basically what Hurricane Danny succumbed to and didn't make it through the islands here. And this is indicative of that El Nino event I was talking about. El Nino is alive and well here, and it's making it very difficult for systems to traverse across the Atlantic into the Caribbean here. Nevertheless, I believe the system will hold on as it interacts with a little bit of mountainous terrains on the northern end of the islands here, but nevertheless, it will be battling wind shear once it gets past Puerto Rico here. And I keep it a minimal tropical storm as it approaches the southern Bahamas, northern Cuba. So people in Cuba through Florida should continue to watch this system as right now by days four and five, it could get rather interesting as this system bends a little bit more towards the west. A lot of models take it further up and recurve it as a stronger system, but at this time wind shear looks to be rather hefty across the Northern Caribbean into the Eastern Gulf of Mexico and even off the coast of Florida and the Bahamas here. So I'll continue to watch it here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern. Take a look at the satellite photo, very well-defined circulation here. So this system does have a lot going for it. It's a much bigger system than Danny was. So we'll continue to watch it. It could survive that vertical wind shear despite how strong the vertical wind shear is because it is a much bigger system. It'll take a longer time to unravel the system, unlike Danny, who succumbed very quickly. Let's take a look at those precipitation totals here, Pacific Northwest. Finally, some relief a little bit for those fire situations. A little dry here in the central states and look at the northeast here. We're dealing with a trough developing in Florida, dealing with rains from remnants of what could be trough. Hurricane Danny. Let's take a look at that pattern. Trough out Pacific Northwest Ridge here in the central states, drying out from Texas to the Dakotas. But look at this, Florida up the east coast. We could have some tropical moisture tapping into here. And of course, that trough in the northeast, that's where we'll see the precipitation. Wednesday, take a look at this. Beautiful. Well, depends on how you look at it. If you're longing for summer to hold on here, we're having a touch of fall. Upper Susquehanna River Valley, Binghamton over to Buffalo, Syracuse, London, Ontario, Toronto. Look at this. We're holding in the upper 60s. 70s down towards portions of southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Look at this pushing up over 80, mid 80s, places like New York City over to Boston, Hartford, and uh, more, better chance of showers and thunderstorms with the system up here in New England as it's wrapping off the coast, trough kicking in across the eastern lakes for Thursday. Look at this, 60s, reinforcing that colder pool of air for Thursday here across Binghamton, upper Susquehanna River Valley, Catskills, Poconos up to the Adirondacks, holding in the 60s. Lake Ontario and Lake Erie region, Southern Ontario as well, holding into the 60s with that cold pool of air, still a chance of a shower here across Northern New England into the Eastern Lakes and upstate New York into Northeast Pennsylvania. Friday, look at this, high pressure builds in for the Susquehanna River Valley. That return flow around high pressure, we get sunny skies clearing out. Look at this, plenty of 70s, even some 80s here in southeastern New England. And Saturday, this sets us up for a beautiful weekend. Look at stretching from the eastern lakes, getting up in the upper 70s, all the way through portions of the eastern New England area. A lot of 80s here into southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, looking very beautiful. It is wall to wall sunshine, pretty much no chance of precipitation. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five day outlook for my hometown viewers in the upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania from Binghamton to Scranton. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark, comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern and Google Plus at MediaMark. Here's your five day stretching from Wednesday through the weekend. Look at this starting cool, upper 60s both Wednesday, Thursday, chance of a shower in the afternoon or evening hours with that cold pool of air. Look at this overnight lows dipping down into the mid to upper 40s. By Friday, though, we get that return flow. By Saturday as well, looking much warmer, pushing 85 near Saturday. But look at this, Sunday, we have that chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon with that front approaching from the north and you make it up into the mid to upper 80s. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.